I'm glad Jeff's not here because he would never have agreed to wait in this line. Mm. Welcome to Sapporo. In this episode, I'm going to show you 10 foods that you should try while you're here. So this is the famous Hokkaido curry soup and I got it with the Hokkaido fried chicken. Let's see. It's really nice. I've never had a curry soup like this before. It tastes like the other kind of, it tastes like that dark curry that comes with chicken katsu, but it's thinner. I feel like I didn't explain enough about this curry soup. It's like the north in a bowl because you got your potatoes, pumpkin, carrot, like a warm, comforting curry, and this delicious fried chicken as well. It's just so good. And it goes well with the rice. You just take a little rice, a little curry soup, mix it together. It's a must try for sure when you're in Sapporo. mochi on a stick, deep fried, nice and hot and gooey. Try the street food, deep fried mochi. Mm. Perfect for a cold day. Nice and gooey inside, hot on the outside. Mm. It's all kinds of cheese things, cheese balls, potatoes, all kinds of street food. One of the things that Hokkaido is famous for is its seafood, especially its king crab. And as you can imagine, it's quite expensive to buy a whole crab in the fish market. But luckily you can get a donbori bowl, which is one of the must-try things in Hokkaido to eat. And we're having ours for breakfast this morning. Our kaisen donbori bowl has arrived. Basically, kaisen donbori means seafood donbori, I believe. We also ordered an extra miso soup with king crab in it to try that. And it also came with miso soup and green tea. Let's try the king crab for the first time. Oh, wow. Really nice chunks. I don't know if I'm supposed to put wasabi on it. I'm just going to try it plain. That's good. You've got to try a little bowl of this. Wait, that's mine. Really, really nice. Oh. Oops. Okay, Xavier's. <laughs> okay, switch. I just had like a tiny bite. Basically the same except mine has the roll, which I wanted to try just because. Let's see what that's like. It's actually really good. Looks like we beat the rush. <laughs> Look at this lineup. Finished our breakfast and we had some kaisan damburi, which is the thing to eat here at the fish market in Sapporo. The last fish market we went to which was in Tokyo and the thing to eat there was 
just sashimi and regular sushi, but here it's a bowl of rice topped with king crab, salmon, uh, tuna, and fish salmon roe, which is actually really delicious, especially when you mix the salmon roe in with the rice. I really enjoyed it. Not cheap, but way less expensive than buying some um, king crab outright. We spent about $21 each on our breakfast. Things are not cheap in Japan, so I don't feel like it was outrageous. Um, so if you're here, definitely treat yourself to that one. So I'm here exploring Sapporo with my son Xavier, the quasi Kanak. Say hi. <laughs> We left Jeff at home this time to take care of the dogs and we're here exploring northern Japan together. So one of the things Hokkaido is famous for are their dairy products and getting ice cream is a must do in Sapporo. Let's see how it tastes. Mm. I like the melon. It tastes like those melon bars you can get in Asia. Another thing not to miss is to visit the Sapporo Beer Factory. They didn't allow filming inside the museum, so I just took a few pictures. Now we're off to the best part, which is the Genghis Khan um, barbecue which is something you should do when you're here in Sapporo, which is like barbecued lamb, I think, and drink Sapporo beer, which we've already had a sampling. Yeah, Kitakuchi original one, that was like the first one made. Then there's like the modern original one, and then there was the black label. My favorite was still the black label, I think. It smells super lamby. I'll be honest with you, lamb is not my favorite type of meat, but Hopefully it'll be good because everyone raves about it. So we're at the Genghis Khan barbecue at Sapporo Beer Museum. And it's one of the things you're supposed to eat here in Sapporo. And while you're here, they ask you to put your jacket in this bag. I guess to protect it from splatter and meat stains. Makes sense. One that we haven't tried yet is the black beer, which I love black beer, so that's good. Let's see. We ordered the lamb, the frozen lamb, the beef ribs, and the mixed veggies. That's healthy, right? Meat, veggies, carbs. Look at this view. This is pretty cool. So they even give you instructions on how to do the barbecue. Number one, use the tongs and grease the pan with the block of fat. Being greased. Okay, so how to cook the frozen lamb. You put the veggies on the grill and then you put the frozen lamb on top of the veggies and then you wait till it starts to melt and then you start mixing it all together. All right, ready for the first taste of the Genghis Khan barbecue. I hope you're hungry with this. The meat. Dip it. That's really good. And I don't even like lamb, but it doesn't taste lamby at all. You can definitely eat all you can eat of this. For sure a must eat in Sapporo is the Genghis Khan barbecue. Like covered in meat splatter. Crazy. An update. We're in round four of the meat and beer. It's getting tough. And Xavier is still going strong. How are you feeling? <laughs> so sadly, we 
we've run out of time apparently, but nobody told us that there's a time limit. So like, we're just done now. We could have went like one more round of meat and at least one more round of beer, but we were told time. Actually, we weren't told time's up, but we were told you're done. We're just done. So <laughs> we're done. ramen soup which was invented here in Hokkaido so I'm gonna have the soup with corn and butter which makes it a little different compared to other miso ramen soups at the Sapporo station on the 10th floor there is a ramen street basically and you can get miso ramen from a bunch of different restaurants and it looks really cool so we're here now all right, first bite of the buttery, corny miso ramen soup. If you love corn and you love butter, you can't go wrong with this soup. Really good. Do those cakes look? I have died and gone to heaven. I just can't eat it all though because it's just not right. But man, they look so good. All the food in Japan is so beautiful and really delicious. If you think it's just sushi, sashimi, and miso soup, mm -mm, you're wrong. There are so many other items, but like time is not on our side here. I'm gonna try a cheese tart though, which is famous in Hokkaido. All right, so this uh, cheese tart has four kinds of Hokkaido cheese in it. It's pretty famous here, so let's give it a go. Mm. Oh. Mm. Mm. oh. It's way lighter than I expected it to be. I thought it was gonna be dense. Super creamy. Tastes like a really delicious cheesecake. at JR Tower Stellar Place. It's on the sixth floor. And the reason it's so popular is because it's supposed to be really affordable, but excellent quality sushi from around this area. It was busy when we got here, but not crazy. And I took a number and now it's like doubled in size, the line. Um, so get here at around 11 or before if you want to get right in. We're, we got here at 11.30 and it was just picking up, but now it's insane. So come earlier or come at a low time when you think people aren't going to be here. I just discovered they're on number 39 and we're number 130, so it's going to be a while. I'm glad Jeff's not here because he would never have agreed to wait in this line. But my son Xavier's easy going, so he's okay to wait. He wants to try the special sushi too, so let's see how long we have to wait. Just one and a half hours later and we are in. So I'm going to try the salted tuna which is a specialty of this area and this store.
We waited an hour and a half to get that sushi. So I definitely thought it was like overrated and a long wait. But when I tried my first bite of that thing, the sushis there were, the sushi there was phenomenal. Well worth the wait. The price was excellent. It was cheaper than any meal we've had so far and we ate a lot. It's only like 4,900 and we had, I don't know how many plates. Um, the quality was excellent. I definitely highly, highly recommend if you are in Sapporo to try that sushi place out. It's definitely worth it. If you're looking for affordable food in Japan, it's at the basement of every department store. There's so much food on offer. It's like, I don't know, there's all these kiosks with different types of food ready made for you or they're making it. And uh, good prices and huge variety so you can just look around, see what you like. So, tons of delicious options at 7 Eleven. And um, you can get these sticks, these deep fried sticks of different, like shrimp ones are usually really good. And then you dip it in this sauce. Don't double dip, please. Right? Mm. Perfect fried chicken and deep fried sticks with beer. Can't go wrong. Delicious way to end our stay here in Hokkaido. Canuck is like a silent film, he doesn't talk much, but... <laughs> what that tastes like? What? You know those really unhealthy hot dog things that were wrapped in... Pogos. Pogos. This is a pogo. <laughs> <laughs> there you have it. 10 things to eat in Sapporo. If you liked this episode, please subscribe and hit that like, thumbs up button. See you next time.